Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. We have more news today, so as always, let's get straight to it. The very first thing that I want to show you guys is from Drake Wheatley. He recently had pointed out a few different new Takara Tomy figures. A lot of them I did know were coming, but there was one that I actually did not know about, and I was really quite excited about it. It is an Argentinosaurus, and that is definitely a very cool species choice to see entering that line. Again, we don't have all that many sauropods in it, and we in general don't have that many Argentinosaurus figures out, so this is definitely... Definitely one that I will be picking up as soon as I can find it. Also, as far as the Beasts of the Mesozoic goes, David Silver recently had shown off quite a few images of the finished prototype for the upcoming Stegosaurus. And not only does this show off how beautiful the model is, it also gives us quite a few different size comparisons here and shows us that this Stegosaurus is gigantic. Now, David did mention in his post that there's a chance that he may make the size a little bit smaller. Again, he's been researching it recently and is considering dropping the size a little bit, but Personally, I really do quite like the large size, although if it does get a little bit smaller, I guess it'll make it a little bit more reasonably priced for people, which is never a bad thing. Either way, it is an absolutely awesome looking Stegosaurus, and he also had shown off this, which is the early stages of the hatchling versions of the Triceratops. We have had hatchling Ceratopsians in the past from the Beasts of the Mesozoic line. We've also had hatchling versions for the Raptor series, and uh, definitely excited to see more hatchlings for the Ceratopsian series, and it looks as though, again, he's going to be releasing three when that does officially occur. On top of that, when it comes to Haya Toys, they have officially unveiled their Shimo figure, and in my opinion, it looks fantastic. I have seen quite a few people kind of stating some negative things about this one. I personally can't really understand why. I think it looks honestly just like it did on screen, so again, uh, I'm not really sure where the complaints are coming from, but I think, honestly, Haya Toys, again, has knocked this one out of the park, and this is definitely a figure that I'm going to be picking up, and I already have actually pre-ordered it on Big Bad Toy Store. So, of course, if you are interested in pre-ordering it for yourself, make sure you check the link in the description where you can head on over there and pre-order it right now. Also, it appears as though, as far as Iron Studios goes, we've got another mini Co Jurassic Park figure coming. This time, it's a Dilophosaurus, and honestly, this looks like it might be my favorite one to come from the Mini-Co line as a whole. They did unveil a Tyrannosaurus not long ago that I thought was pretty cool that hasn't actually released quite yet, but I think this Dilophosaurus just generally looks a lot cooler. Now, again, when it comes to Iron Studios, you can never truly trust what the actual paint application will look like on the final product, but as far as these images go, I think they look look really cool and definitely something that I am going to be adding to my collection as soon as it releases. You can, of course, pre-order this as well on Big Bad Toy Store, just like I had mentioned. I will include a link in the description for this as well. And speaking of Big Bad Toy Store, I also stumbled upon another dinosaur set that is on there again that uh, I'm definitely going to be picking up, or at least I think I'm going to be. This is from Bandai Spirits. We have the strongest dinosaur friends box of 12 random figures. So basically, uh, you can see there are a few different species in the line, and if you purchase purchase the box on Big Bad Toy Store, you get 12 altogether. Hopefully, I would think it would include the entire line, but uh, considering there are six figures here basically shown off, I think maybe it would be double the line. I'm not too sure, but either way, they are pretty cool. Again, they're definitely fun-looking figures. I do enjoy exaggerated dinosaur figures from time to time. That is exactly what we are looking at, and I'm really quite happy to continue seeing stuff from Bandai coming out when it comes to different dinosaur releases. Hopefully, that will continue on into the future, and we'll get all sorts of other dinosaur products. Also, as far as Caster Mind Creations goes, he had recently shown off this image, which is the early stages of a Deinonychus sculpt that he is working on. He has stated that he is intending on releasing dinosaur figures that are not just Jurassic, which I personally would love to see because I think his products are absolutely incredible, probably some of the best out there when it comes to custom created dinosaur figures and uh, the sculpt on this as well already looks incredible definitely excited to see the rest of this as he progresses and of course see whatever else he is planning in the future and the final thing that i have for you guys 
is a look at the upcoming Mattel Jurassic World Majungasaurus. Now, this is the only one from the Wild Roar line that we hadn't seen prior to this, and I think the Majungasaurus does look really cool. It definitely is a very nice updated look to it compared to the older one, which I actually was a big fan of the older one. Kind of looks like we have very similar coloration, different like patterning and designing, but similar tones of color compared to the older one as well. Finally get a look at this Majungasaurus, and it's also nice to see that it's not going to be any sort of a letdown and in fact i think this entire wave is going to be absolutely awesome when it does release so let me know in the comment section of course what you guys think and as always that's all the news i've got as of right now so if you'd like to see more of this stuff make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching